Arsenal Fan TV. Um, I, I don't know what we can take out of that game. It was a pretty poor performance by Arsenal. Yeah, we can't, can't take nothing out of that game tonight. There's no like no real performances that you could say were great. Um, there was a lot of players that had poor games. We was predictable. We were weak. Um, we got caught on the counter attack again. How many times do we have to get caught on the counter attack? It's so predictable. So mm. predictable. Um, when we don't play at speed, we just look slow. We don't really create a lot. I think Monreal's was the first chance in the first half when we got a shot away. Mm. It's just so slow and it, it's poor. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to. Are we missing? Listen, um, I have this debate with a lot of people because I'm a bit of a Theo Walcott fan. But are we missing Theo Walcott's pace? They don't seem to have anything on the wings at the moment. Yeah, well, well that's the thing. When you when you got the pitch and it, it's what that, what Mourinho does, he defends his the edge of the box from edge of the box to the edge of the box because he knows Arsenal ain't gonna. He, he very rarely knows Arsenal are gonna go wide, so he knows where to defend mm. and he knows how to like how, how to beat us. And that's the thing. You need pace. You need width. And that's the thing, Theo ain't there, but you can't just rely on Theo. We need more of that. We need more players that are going to bring that to the team. You need to stretch the play sometimes. Because mm. what happens is when you stretch your play, it opens the middle of the park up as well. Mm. So your creative players get space in there. And that's what's happening. We're just, we're just predictable. Mm. And, you know, that's got to change. And, and we need some more power that drives us out from the defence as well. Like, what I mean is sitting in front of the defence, you need power in there because that pushes you up the pitch. Mm. That power breaks it up. But we need that. Mm. And, you know, for me, it's been evident for years, like for a couple mm. of years. And for it not to be, not to, for not to be changed is, is um, mm. I don't know, it's beyond me. And a couple me. of players who stepped in tonight uh, didn't have the greatest of games. Um, Carl Jenkinson, unfortunately, not a great game for him tonight. No, I, I feel for Jenkinson. Um, I know he's a gooner at art, but I'm a gooner at art. And sometimes I wouldn't be good enough to be out on that pitch. And I just think tonight he wasn't good enough to be out on that pitch. Mm. You know, I think he still needs he still needs to learn the game. And, you know, when you're chucked in at the deep end and you make mistakes, it, it's hard for him. Maybe it is, it is a learning for him in these competitions, but I'm just, mm. I'm just a bit worried. Um, I'm a bit worried if he is going to be good enough. Mm. I hope uh, so. I hope so. Mm. I just want to ask you finally, can we bounce back from this? I mean, poor, bad defeat. We hate losing to this mob, but... Yeah. Uh, and we're losing them a lot, but uh, can we bounce back from this? Yeah, we can. We can bounce back from it. I mean, we did from the. Do um, you remember when we the Tottenham game mm. when we lost two one? We bounced back from that. We went on a very good run after that. You know, I think the players need to have a look at themselves again tonight. And um, I think we can bounce back. And it's a good game on um, Saturday now to against Liverpool to to bounce back and get a result. Um, mm. So it's just on to that now. I just want to forget about tonight. Mm.